I'm going to speak to one of my favourite fighters. Not everyone's cup of tea. In fact, he got himself in trouble a couple of years ago, but I've always loved him. I've always liked him. He's a great kid. He's been a servant. I'm hearing he wants to retire after a fight tomorrow night, but we'll find out. Welcome to the show, Tony Oki Koki Oki. How are you, Tony boy? All right, Steve. I'm all right, mate. Tony, is this going to be your last fight tomorrow? Yeah, I think the time's come, mate, to move on to other things in my life. I think you know, boxing is a big part of your life, but it's also a small part in the actual span of your life. So Good point. It's time to move on. And what what are you going to do, Tony? You're going to work with Johnny Eames in the gym? You're going to open up your own gym? Um, you know, as, as far as keeping in contact with boxing and things like that, I'm going to leave it a few months, Steve, to sort my home life out because, you know, I've been living in London now like during the week and coming home weekends for four years. Oh, and boy. We miss this as our first child together in June, so I'm going to have a lot of my time taken up, obviously, with a newborn baby oh, lovely and time. things. And then I'm going to look, look a few months down the line, I should look into things, maybe start training a few boys like, from around my area in Portsmouth or out part of the local amateur club or something. But my main priority will be uh, like, to sort out my home life, obviously, with the missus and the newborn. We had nine years, really, Tony, didn't you? Fighting for Commonwealth and winning Commonwealth, fighting for British and winning British and holding one of those versions of a world title and having all those great fights in your hometown of Portsmouth. Tell me, what was your high? What was the most enjoyable night you had in your 35 fights, Tony? Um, you know... Uh, to, to be fair, I, I think they're all memorable in, in like your, your mind. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, yeah, you know, it, it's it's weird. Like the, uh, I would say the Commonwealth title when I very first won the Commonwealth title against Hayden Rosani, and then back and in then 2001. defended it. Yeah, I defended it against Chris Davis. Now for me, was. that was the hardest fight of my whole career. Mm, he was tough for and me. he was hard. Yeah. Oh. And you know, Steve, he hit so hard. Uh, I know. Two or three times during the fight. I thought I was one side of the ring, but I actually wasn't. I was the other side. And you know the mad thing, you know, Chris Davis had been matched carefully because he was a former top quality European, you know, amateur boxer for Wales. If he'd been matched properly, instead of entering the ring with you, I think he'd lost about six or seven out of his ten fights, you know, out of 15, 16 fights. If he'd have been matched properly, he would have been a great fighter. So you're absolutely right when you tell me that was an hard fight. It was. Oh, he was, he, honestly, he was brilliant. And as I say, he extremely hard with both hands. And it was a real, real tested night. I think we even was in the top three or four um, fights of the year yeah, on I'm Sky sure TV that year. Oh, listen, you know what I mean? It, it, was, it really was good. But then, going to another night, I must admit, on, see son. the prize fighter. Yeah. When oh, you win that a was the, when you Tony, win a that was the match, funnest night I've had. I was winking at you. You were winking at me. You were like a couple of old queens at ringside. It was lovely. You were brilliant that night. To experience um, winning a boxing match and putting your hand up three times yeah. is for a one night only, it was electric. It really was. Tony, so just t tell me briefly, where are you boxing them or are there any tickets available? Um, I'm, I'm boxing down the Mount Batten Centre. They're Portsmouth. Ring sides are 50, normals are 30. You can get them from the Mount Batten Centre. It's oh. against Michael Bambula, 10-rounder. Oh, oh, it's just like a farewell fight, you listen, know. Listen, Tony, let's hope you go out on top because you certainly gave us a lot of pleasure Tony Oki Koki there Tony Oki Koki Oki he's a great kid gave us everything Tony Oki Koki there